Hey everybody, welcome to another edition of Friday Quickie Techniques and Tips. I'm so happy that you're here and I have a great project for you today. It is this beautiful poinsettia card and the technique that I'm going to show you is how to create shading with sponging. And I think you're really going to like this because you can apply it to lots of different types of cards. So let's get started. First of all, I just love this card. I think it is so pretty. Let me show you how I did it. Um, the colors I'm using today are Blushing Bride, Calypso Coral, and Real Red. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I've set this to the side and I've got some scrap paper here. I've got a little square of cardstock and I'm going to take, um, this is the Reason for the Season stamp set and I have this beautiful poinsettia stamp. I've inked it up in some black memento ink and I'm going to just stamp this kind of in the upper corner so that I have enough room for my greeting to fit. Okay, and I did this in black memento like I just said. Now, the rest of the image here is just this clear, there we you can see it a little better, clear image. So what I'm gonna do is ink the whole thing up in Blushing Bride ink. Then what I'm going to do is take some sponge daubers and I have mine labeled. I did have a little run in with my uh, Blackberry Bliss pad earlier, so sorry. But I'm going to take um, my little sponge daubers and I'm going to ink this up. So I'm going to take Calypso first and I'm just going to sponge the ink right onto the stamp. Okay, so remember there is some Blushing Bride ink on there already. So I'm going from the center out about halfway I guess okay so there's Calypso you can kind of see that then I'm gonna take real red and just put some kind of right in the middle okay and by kind of tapping on there I can get really good coverage of the ink and it will sort of blend together now I don't know if you notice this but if you see there's a little tab of photopolymer right there that coordinates with the tab of photopolymer right here, and thus that's how you line up your stamps, or know at least which way they're supposed to be. Okay, so see how easy it is to line that up with the clear photopolymer? I'll pull that off and look at that gorgeous color. So you can see I've got the pinks, the coral, and the orange, or er, red, pardon me. Okay, so I just love how that looked. I can do the same with my petals and with green. I used, um, in my sample, I used pear pizzazz with some old olive at the, at the kind of the inside of each leaf. And how beautiful is that? To finish the card up, I just stamped the watercolor wash background stamp. That's this big one. And I just stamped that in a uh, Blushing Bride on the Blushing Bride cardstock, and I think that's so beautiful. But I thought, wait, there's more I can do. So then I took out, and this is for my friend Pam. She loves purple. So this is the same card only in purple. By the way, I didn't even mention the frame part. If you've been with me for a few month, a few weeks or so, you've seen that I've done the frame technique. Go back. That's a from a few weeks ago, I'll put a link in my blog post to it, but I just did the frame technique to get this, but isn't this cool? So this is Wisteria Wonder that I inked up that stamp, then I stamped it off. So then I did Wisteria Wonder like where I did the Calypso Coral, and then I did Elegant Eggplant in the center where I did the real red on this card. But isn't that beautiful? I just think this is such a pretty card. Of course, I couldn't stop there. I had to keep going. So then I made this card because anybody who knows me well knows I'm an aqua girl. So this is Pool Party, Bermuda Bay, and Knight of Navy. And by the way, I put the little iced rhinestone. I think that looks so pretty. And this is some of our glimmer glitter tape, glitter ribbon. It's in the um, occasions or no. Holiday catalog. Oh, goodness. Well, then I did this card, and I just love those bright, happy colors. Um, so I thought, wait, I could do flowers. So then I did this card, and this is pretty much the same color combo that I did in this card. Um, I actually tried quite a few different color combinations, but I liked the way that looked. So that's beautiful. This is Garden in Bloom. Just a real simple card, but turned out wonderfully. 
And then, um, since I'm in complete denial that fall is here and winter is coming, I thought I'd do a nice happy spring card that says, hello, sunshine. <laughs> so here I have Blushing Bride. Um, this is Watermelon Wonder, and the center is uh, Melon Mambo. Mambo Melon, right? Yeah. Whoa. Melon Mambo. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so I just love how cute this card is. Just so happy and bright because winter's not coming, it's spring, um, even though I am in denial. But I wanted to show you a few other things I, I was trying because I, you know, it can't just do one thing. So these are some flowers that I did the ex exact same technique on. Um, and I want to kind of explain <laughs> sort of what happened here. So this, this one is the very first one I did. This is Pool Party Stamped Off, then Pool Party, then... Bermuda Bay, and then I stamped the detail of this in Island Indigo, and I thought that looked good. But then I thought, well, maybe it's too boring. So then I did Pool Party and Bermuda Bay, and then Island Indigo, and I decided that was not, that was too blah. So then I thought, well, maybe it would be pretty if I did it a little different. So then again, I stamped off the Pool Party, then I did Pool Party, then I did um, Bermuda Bay and the this is Pacific Point in the center and this is nice and then this is when I took a drink um, of my soda and I dripped a drip of water on the stamp before I stamped it down <laughs> um, so if I wouldn't have told you that you would have figured I had for sure planned it that way and it was a new technique but it's not <laughs> and then finally I went over the whole thing this is basically like the first one but I did the detail in black and I like the contrast of that a lot then um, I just moved my whole paper. Then finally, I did some other colors. These were kind of working up into this card. So same thing here, I just played with the colors. I had so much fun doing this and I will turn all these into cards and get them on my blog at some point, but I hope you like this video. Um, I know my Friday quickies aren't that quick anymore, but they're so awesome, I hope you guys are liking them. Anyway, I hope you have a great day. Make sure you check out my blog post. It is on October 30th and make sure you subscribe to both my mailing list on my blog and my YouTube channel so you keep getting these fabulous videos sent into your inbox. Thank you so much for supporting me and please uh, go to my blog and check things out. And if you need to order, please consider ordering through me. I'd love to be your demonstrator and take good care of you. Thanks, guys. Have an awesome weekend.